Hey gorgeous people, it's Monday here in Australia and oh my gosh, lots of energy and emotion going on right now and wow, my dad um, has lots more medical tests coming up today and lots of emotion coming up and whatnot. But anyway, I wanted to reach out to you guys and say, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful for life. My family is down at the park. I'm about to go and join them uh, before I go and return a dress that's way too big. <laughs> hey, Jen B, I'm gonna reach out to you today too. So I just really see a lot of messages um, out there at the moment, all the time. I mean, God, it's been going on for years. Hey, gorgeous ones. Hey, everyone. Um, where people talk about the universe being, I'll, I'll speak to the universe. The universe will bring me what I want in divine timing. Um, when it's right, the universe will bring it to me and all that kind of stuff. And, <laughs> okay. So the truth of the matter is, hey, Laura, is that you, my darling divine one, are the universe. You can shape, shift, and mutate energy. You can literally ch change even the cells in your own body. You can shape, shift your physicality. You can shape, shift your external reality. It all starts from within, right? It starts from you acknowledging just how sacred and powerful you are and that you are the universe. The universe isn't outside of you, right? So what you're really saying, hey, lovely Jade, when I'll wait for, hey, Laura, I'll wait for the universe to bring it to me. You're actually saying, without realizing it, well, you're actually saying, I. it's actually up to I. And so you're actually not realizing how divinely powerful you are, that you are the creator. Hey, Paige, hey, everybody. So just bear with me today because my energy, I'm really actually very sad. I'm sad. Sad, sad, sad with my dad not being well and um, all of that. So my energy is beautiful I suppose to some degree in terms of just being myself um, but also like I'm just what I, I think what the other thing that I'm trying to say is you know we don't need to be anything else than ourselves and however we show up online is how it's meant to be and we don't need to put it on or or pretend to be anything that which we are so at the end of the day, the point is that you are the creatrix, you are the universe. If you want to shift anything, if you want to create anything and you are saying, I'll wait and see for divine timing, hey, gorgeous one, yes, you're actually eliminating and dissolving your own power, right? Because literally when I want to create something, and usually to be honest, it's usually when I've just... Some of it comes from that divine inspiration where you're just in the flow and you just keep expanding and expanding and expanding. Um, but a lot of my most profound shifts and changes in my life have come from rage, grief, being over it, just so over it where your back up is against the wall and you're like, I'm done. It's happened in my marriage. It happens in my business. It happens in my relationships with um, my friendships and women. It's like, I, I don't, I won't put up with this anymore right so usually um, for me the profound change comes also when I'm self honoring myself where I'm like okay you know either my work is sacred I have to charge more and then I raise my fees um, I deserve more in relationship with with my clients um, when I, I had something happen with a, um, a client uh, about six months ago that literally felt like a stab in the heart um, I helped her radically grow her business. She gave me testimonials, all, all of that. And something happened with the payment and she basically said, I'm, I'm not paying you that. And it wasn't about the money. Um, it was about the, we were meant to have a friendship. I, her business literally went from probably about 5K a month to 50K a month and she owed me this payment and then didn't want to pay. And wow, I was like, what? I was like, what? Anyway, that really hurt me like I literally started crying I was literally like you know and I just was like this is not okay this is not acceptable to me and then I looked at myself and I was like well how did I allow this to happen right without blaming without ta attacking myself and how am I going to recreate this now to make sure that this type of situation or relationship never ever ever happens again and so I got really clear because I'm the universe, I'm the creator, you're the universe, you're the creator. 
take full responsibility that mess I must have been a match for that vibration and I don't get angry I don't put myself down I don't um, attack myself I, I definitely have been there I've done that this I have a very different way I've been the attacker I've, I've been poisonous with myself I don't sorry so I just look at it and become really observant and say, hey D, what do I need to let go of here? What do I need to release? What is the healing that needs to happen? And so for me, it was like really, really more deeply honoring my work. I put out a really clear call of who I'm going to work with, even my students at High End Empire, even people if I'm selling on a webinar um, and I'm bringing in a lot, new, a lot of people, people that I